Hello, my friend. This is Victor Piccini, and welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Videos and audios that will empower you. Hey, it's Victor, and I want to welcome you to another Be Seen and Heard journey. Today's episode is uh, very interesting to me because I've experienced this. Um, there is a topic within the topic of abuse. And first of all, let me just say this. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this or to watch this. I am very passionate about helping children not be voiceless and not just in abusive situations, but anything that's hurting them. I strive to help children to have the courage to speak up and to be able to share their feelings because I think that is the key to healing. In fact, it was for me. What I really want to focus on today is this question. How do children get abused? I mean, how is it possible for people to abuse children? I mean, what has to happen in order for this to take place? There are six stages to grooming, and I just want to go through them really quick, and then you can read more about this on my page below. Number one stage to grooming is the term or the phrase targeting the child. And that simply is this person who is abusing, the perpetrator, they're very aware of the child's background, meaning what kind of family they come from, um, is the child isolated many times, are they by themselves. And again, this is really difficult to talk about, but this is the reality of it all. Number two is gaining the trust of the child, which is what I'm gonna talk more about in just a little bit. Number three is meeting a need. Number four, something called isolation. Number five is sexualization. And number six is maintaining control. I want to put this in perspective based on my story. When I go to schools and I talk to kids about grooming, which is a very, I think, taboo topic within the taboo topic of abuse, I, I try to really talk about it in a term that they can understand and that is easy to not be uncomfortable with. I mean, it, the whole thing is uncomfortable, I get it. But I sat down one day and I thought about this. I was groomed, that is the reality of it. And when I read these six stages, I pretty much can relate to all of them. But I thought if I'm gonna educate kids on how to stay safe and to recognize if someone is overstepping a boundary, how can I put the term grooming in a very easy to understand term? And so I came up with tricked into trust. And that's how it happens. All these stages fit within this. I was, and so many children are, they are tricked into trust. And here's how he did this to me. He tricked me in the trust by buying me presents. He tricked me in the trust by watching my favorite movies with me. He tricked me in the trust by playing my favorite video games. He filled all kinds of needs that I was missing out at home. And I believe as well, because my father was a violent alcoholic and, and, and I loved my dad and I loved my mom and I loved my whole family, but I was trying not to be surrounded with that all the time. So I went towards this person because thinking that I was safe and ultimately I wasn't safe. So I was at a school recently and I had an amazing question asked by, I believe it was a seventh grader. And she said, Victor, how do you know if someone is genuinely a friend and a genuine trusted hero or someone who is tricking you in the trust? And I said, at first, you probably don't know. You don't know that because you are trusting that person. Hey, I am not saying don't trust anybody. I'm saying trust people because most people are trustworthy. However, listen to your gut feelings. Listen to your gut feelings. If you start to feel that this person is crossing a boundary and they're acting overly nice to you to a point where it's starting to feel uncomfortable, don't ignore that. You definitely don't ignore it. I think if I would have known this as a child and I would have started seeing those signs, granted I was only eight, but if I would have started seeing the signs that this person was getting physically too close to me and when the abuse was starting to actually happen, I could have potentially stopped it right away and said, nope, this is wrong. I need to leave now. So this is a tough tough episode this week, but it's, it's, a, it's a topic that needs to be talked about. And again, the way in which I, I do talk to kids about it, they don't feel threatened by it. And they understand that I was tricked into trust. And most kids, all kids that are abused by someone that they know and trust are ultimately 
tricked into trust. I want to thank you for spending the time with me today. Um, please share this with uh, people that you know, friends and family. Have a great day and let's keep our children safe. And don't forget, let's encourage our kids to be seen and heard. Thank you. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Be Seen and Heard journey. If you'd like to follow me, please go to youtube.com forward slash Victor Piccini or instagram.com forward slash childhood victories or head over to facebook.com forward slash childhood victories or visit my website, victorpiccini.com. Please share this with your friends and family. And until next time, be seen and heard.